All right, so we're here at Daytona International Speedway. They bring all these campers in. This is actually La Mesa that does this. They call it an RV show, but it's a sales lot. And uh, we're around here looking up. They got all kinds. They got C's and B's and A's and everything you can imagine here. But uh, we've been looking at some of the seas here. So far, the uh, Winnebago's have the best layout for what Tiff we're. Tiffin Wayfair was nice, but at a cost. Yeah, Tiffin Wayfair was a nice one. $120,000, which is completely way out of the budgets. Um, so they have some used ones over here. We're going to go over here and stick our head in some of the used ones and look at them right now. Looks like they got a pretty good little, little lineup of them all the way down. So uh, we're going to take a look at those. We've been just looking at the uh, newer ones right now. Uh, these are brand new. It's like this one here is not a bad layout itself. It has the, uh, oh, yeah, the TV straight across. And see, that's not a bad, bad setup there. $69,998. Shower on this side. Nice walk around bed. Let's take a look at the, uh, it's dark in here, I suppose, the lights. Nice setup for again sixty nine nine ninety eight seventy thousand dollars. It's not a bad, not a bad setup. All right, so this one's like fifty nine. This is a little less, but again, you have this side bed. See, it's fifty nine nine ninety eight, but I don't believe we're, we'd be very happy with that side bed. A little smaller unit, Ford chassis. You know, you find ones that you uh, are like, that would work. And other ones that is like, nah. A mini Winnie. It's, uh, again, a Winnebago, but it, again, has that corner bed. For us, I just wouldn't, someone crawling over top of each other is not a good setup. Plus, I would really like to have a sofa or a recliner. I'd have to get rid of that table setup. We're going to get over here and look at some of these used ones next. In fact, this is a used one here. This one's at $74,998, $75,000. An F500's chassis. This thing looks big. Here, we got a uh, television on the outside. He told me all these awnings are electric awnings. Nice little storage areas. They do have a lot of storage. Looks like it's a 50 amp service. See, that goes all the way through. It uh, has one pull out here on this side that I see. Not sure what they're racing at the speedway today, but they're definitely racing something around. That's pretty nice. Look at this big screen TV up front here. Ford chassis. It sets kind of down in the uh, driving area, but there's no bed up here. But there's a lot of storage. A nice pull out. And again, the problem I see, I sit down here in this sofa, and I'm cocked sideways to look at that television. Television needs to be straight across. I don't get what are these manufacturers thinking when they set this up. There's the info on it, 74998 for a used one. This is uh I'm not sure what year this one is. It has a bench here. Very roomy. And it's got a nice shower in it. Great walk around bed.
I'd say this unit here, like everything about it, except the television, is this way. Now, if you're sitting here, you can look at the TV. But, yeah, I want a recliner. I, was, I like to have a recliner and kick back. All right, this one's a Quantum. What's the price on it? Seventy-four nine ninety-eight, two thousand and twenty Quantum. <laughs> on it. You're not going to find Sue has trouble steps, but you'll so you have to. Well, we'll you'll figure. you'll have to put a stool out because mm -hmm. that's what you're going to run into. Right, right. On it. Storage should be pretty. I don't know what they have in. I like the hardwood floors. You know that's pretty nice. What's well, open, man? It's nice size. It's nice, you know. The uh, they got a television here. So if the we take that out and put the two uh, sofa. Or yeah, yeah. My recliners in there. My book would be remove the the uh, this here, mm -hmm. and I mean the TV straight across. So brand new. It does. It's just straight across. The seats as hard as a rock. Um, but yeah, see, this is no good. Like you're sitting here. And television's over there. How in the world do they expect you to sit and watch TV? I'm not going to sit sideways in that. Yeah, so, so we'd have to have the two recliners. Yeah. So you know, it's it makes for a poor design in that way. On it, but what I would do here is I would remove that whole unit and put two recliners. They somebody how well you lose storage. Well, that's not the deal. You got to be comfortable. The bed's pretty nice. Um, the yeah, I mean it's it's really nice that you can I could get around this side here very easily. It has a nice little pull out. I actually kind of like it. A nice uh, bath. It's like a shower. Let's uh let's 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 just get in the shower here once. Turn around here and say uh yeah, see, people worry about headroom. I don't worry about headroom, but uh, all kinds of space. Look at look at how much space is above my head. I mean, a a giant could fit in that one. Plastic toilet, so as figured. Got a uh, probably a three-way Dometic refrigerator. Seventy-four nine. So that was a Quantum. This is a, a Quantum, but they're actually called a Thor, a Quantum Thor. This one wasn't a Thor? Yeah. Well, it doesn't say Thor on the side. Maybe it does. Okay, they're both were Thors. This is basically the same. This is basically the same camper. The difference is the. I imagine the other television does pull out like that. Is it the same? Yeah, it's pretty much the same. This on the Sprinter chassis. It looks the same from the thing. It's a Cam 24, same as the other one. Yeah, it's a spring thing. Sprinter chassis on it. Uh, check out. Uh, what well, nice soft. There too, isn't it? A little step. You know. That's pretty nice. I mean, they're basically the same same camper as the one. Much difference then. There isn't. And. Now it's a hundred twenty-one thousand. They call it a Wayfair. And uh, one thing about it, they have a big step there for like Sue. Now this one has a couple recliners in it. The TV would pull around where, yeah, the TV would pull around where you sit down there. It would work out pretty good. Uh, no, we talked to Keith a little bit ago. I think we're doing good. Thanks. Nice um, big bath. We're just looking, trying to find. We have a bean. Yeah. Looking upgrades for the Yeah, it's too small. Nice walk around bed. That's it's nice. Really with the television. Time, it's just, it's, you know, we figured going to we need something a little bit bigger. See, we like those sofas or the recliners on the side and the TV in front. But That's nice. And uh, it's a Winnebago, a Vita, V-I-T-A, Vita. Now it has a step that comes out, 
you know, and uh, again, it's 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 pretty nice. It's a typical layout. Now the, the TV's right here. You know, again, you have the uh, dinette here, which you know, again, I would always think that would come out and put a couple recliners. And it does have a nice walk around bed, uh -huh. nice shower, plenty of room. This this would be nice. Um, yeah, this would be nice, yeah. excluding the dinette, which I said you'd have to almost pull, it out. pull that out. I don't know what that would involve pulling that out, but put a couple recliners in there mm -hmm. uh, because that kind of makes it. But seventy two nine ninety eight, seventy three thousand dollars, you know. Yeah, they've got those like what's sitting in the other one. Yeah. It's like a stadium. All right, here's another Quantum. I guess these here are still new ones. We haven't got over to the used site yet. Some of these I'm just going to peek in. I'm looking at the way they got this TV set up here. The guy on this side can watch TV. The one on the other side don't get to see it. Here's one for 80000 yeah, again, these are all brand new ones. Yeah, brand new ones are really nice. But you're going to take the... Uh, got. Now, this one's got pretty nice for a new one. It has a nice walk around bed. <laughs> huge, huge shower. They've got a sofa across from the TV, which, you know, that's a better set. It's on a Ford chassis. Hey, this this would be nice. Pretty good size. We're another one for 64 Chateau. This looks pretty nice. I love the vinyl floors. Yeah. yeah. They have a nice walk around bed. A lot of room. The biggest space though is like the person over on this side can watch TV. The person on this side don't get to see it. So you both have to sit over here. Uh, TV much better straight across with a couple recliners. So that would be my layout. I'll take a look at this class A. Thing looks huge. Big TV on the outside, as big as we have in the house. A lot of stuff for Sue to come up. Now, if I was going to live in something, it looks like it's one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Now it's a little better set up. I mean. It was the hair, but it's not too bad as far as the television set up. But they got a fireplace down below here. I don't know that I need a fireplace <laughs> in my camper. Nice bath. And we have a good walk around bed. This side here looks a little tight, but I guess the other side's about the same. Crap hideaway, so you can put stuff in behind there. Anyways, this is a class A, I think a little bigger than what we would be interested in. And this is a used, it's a Nexus 79998. It's closed up there, we're not gonna go in. I hear the generator running, but now here we go. One, this is a Chateau for 39998, Ford chassis, a Thor. Yeah, we'll check her out here. Again, just a dinette. Television stuffed up in the corner and not a bad bed. That's 39. Like 39. I've seen that. 
it's another chateau. Huh? Quarter beds. I won't even look at it as a corner bed. And this one's 59. Does this have a corner bed? No, this one would work. You get a look in, it would work. This is a chateau. What, 59? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a nice bed in the back. But again, here's this television sitting over here. And uh, it's good if you're sitting over here on this side. But two people said it's not an ideal setup. We had a lot of fun walking around the Daytona RV show. This was sponsored by La Mesa. They were the uh, sales unit there. But as you see, there were certain things that we wanted in a uh, camper. Uh, having our road trek for, for several years, we found out, you know, we like to relax, watch TV, and that has to be in a proper spot to uh, sit down, see it straight on. We don't want to turn sideways and that. Uh, so a lot of them didn't fill that need, really. Only one unit we found that actually would work out really well. Uh, also, another thing, we didn't want a bed that you have to crawl over top of each other or one that you have to lay down each night. We just want to have the bed made, go to bed, and something that you can walk around. But, you know, everybody has their difference what they want. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we found out things we liked and didn't like. So, hey, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, again, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell at the top if you want to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys the next time. If you'd like to support our channel, we have links down below that you can click on. Uh, we have the, we're an Amazon affiliate. We have stickers available. We have a, a t-shirt store where you can buy t-shirts and coffee chat mugs. Or if you just want to support us, you can support us through the PayPal link. So we appreciate all your help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.